Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to do a bit of um, building, well clearing really. There's a village just behind me and I'm going to go there and a, this is the one with the um, volcano that hasn't erupted. I would like to clear the volcano around, out and protect the village. But first what I'd like to do is to make some tanks. So let's start with that shall we. So in this pack, pack we've got three tanks. We've got this one here, fluid storage tank from Cyclic. We've got this basic tank from Really Simple Tanks and that's the only thing in this mod is just a basic tank. And we've got a tank from RF Tools Utility. Uh, now I'm going to make this one. Um, so what do we need for that? We need some buckets, we need some machine frame which is basically blue dye, um, gold and that. Okay I'll get, all that. I'll get all that ready and I'll come back in a second. Or when it's assembled, because I don't need to assemble it on craft it all on camera, do I? Right, let's just craft in this tank. So we have the tank. Uh, I think there aren't any upgrades for this, but let's have a quick look at silent, uh, silent mechanism. I'm not absolutely sure whether it's going to work. So whether it has an upgrade that we can use to push fluids out. So this is a processing speed upgrade. This is an output chance upgrade, this is an energy capacity upgrade, this is an energy efficiency upgrade and range upgrade. I might need the range upgrade. So that's an upgrade case which is 6 plastic, which will give two of those. Have we got any of those around at the moment? I think I've got some plastic sheets here, 24. Uh, we'll make however many we can because I think the only use of these is to make this. So let's do that. That gives us eight upgrades for that one. Um, I think we'll just put the gold back in here. We don't need any more gold nuggets. So the range upgrade is an ender pearl, wasn't it? Now ender pearls are not in any short supply. I have been to the end again and I actually found... Let's have a look. I'll show you what I found. In this ender chest here, you see I found that... I did find a ship, but I found about... I think that was the third city I went through to find the actual elytra and the rest of it is we've got all of these relatively good pieces of armor plus these orbs of temporary flight from uh forbidden and arcanus and we've also got a, a mundibit or a dust i don't know what that is and we have to do some research uh, i was killing the en endermen with uh, uh, this captive dream sword and got an ender enderman spawner egg so or an enderman yes yeah, spawn egg so i'll put that in there in fact, I'll clear this out because I want the space for other things. And of course, I, use, I got the usual stuff with shulkers, shells, and like this. I need to have plenty of shulker shells anyway. So, next thing, I wanted to get some of these, didn't I? Let's just do two range upgrades. And we'll put the others back in case we need them for other purposes, like that. Now, the, what, the reason I say I'm not 100% sure, we'll have to test it. If that fails, then the other option is to do it with the um, RF Tools Builder. Because I think it's got a tank upgrade in, in here. So if we look for again for, let's say, RF Tools and then a tank. So they have these, this tank, yes, um, it's not a tank, it's a pump is what I wanted, wasn't it? Pump. So we have a, a shaped card for the this one. So we can make this with this. So that's basically three buckets, one bucket of lava, one bucket of water, four redstone and a blank card. So we need some bricks and some redstone and some paper. I'll just get that ready and I'll come back in a second when it's prepared. So right, here we are. Let's get this one. I'm going to make two of these to start with. Well, um, how do they stack? No, they don't stack. Shame. So I'll put one of those away. But the one that we're going to make is not the clearing one, probably this one here, because we want to actually pump the stuff up. So we need a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, two empty buckets and four redstone. Let's get the four redstone out first of all. I'm just using the mouse button by the way to scroll up and down to pull that down, to actually scroll down to get the items out, oops, and scroll up to put them back in again. Uh, bucket of lava is in here. And the rest I've already got, but I'm just looking a little bit on the full side. Let's see if I can get rid of some stuff temporarily. Um, what do we need? Buckets, wasn't it? Two buckets. Let's just put into here these two upgrades. I actually want to do something with hoppers. I've got that there. This bezel, in case I've not told you, this is a, 
it's a cure for poisons it's just the same as milk i believe you take it and you, it just cures it straight away but i haven't tested it out so right i think we need to need some buckets somewhere so we needed a bucket of water and two buckets so i've got a bucket of water in here two buckets like that and i think that's all we need to make that's not that one we wanted this one first don't we like that so we've now got a shaped card pump so we can pump stuff out i hope I'll we'll test it whether it works or not. So we need an RF tools builder as well. Which will be this thing here. So that needs okay, needs some ender pulls, another machine frame, three more. Okay, no big deal. We've got three more of these, no problem. Ender pulls, no problem. And um let's actually give that a sort and see how many ender pulls I've got there. Um lots. What else was it? machine frame I think I've already got with me so and it was bricks I just need another two sets of oh, four sets of bricks so we need 16 bricks so we can then do that I like that which will give us that four of those so let's have a look I think this is all we need shift that into place so now we have the builder and we can put the card into here this is also something I haven't tried out so we've got a tool a tank We've got this fluid storage tank as well, but that only holds liquids. If you break it, it breaks. And the other one was the simple mach it was the simple tanks one, wasn't it? And I've got built that to test it out whether that worked as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I'll leave that in here. Don't actually put that back where it belongs. It's in here. I need to test it out sometime, but we probably won't get a chance today. So what else do we need? We don't need the paper. Let's put the paper in this chest, in this bag up here. Like that. Anything else that we want? Oh yes, I need to make a composter. So let's make a quick composter. Just a standard composter. So we need four, fr um, four fences and three planks. I should have actually got enough of those. There's one fence and three planks that should be all we need for doing a composter let's just see if that works we're mixing the two up i think it should do no problem yep and what you do with this is let's say we've got as you can see here i've got lots not wrong place i've got <laughs> in this one here lots and lots of seeds seeds i don't have any uses for uh, well you do but not that much use for them so let's just put them down let's say here it's probably a good place to put it. Is there anything there? No, let's do it a bit further away. Let's put it down here. Um, put that down there. Put on top of this the, the composter. And put on top of the composter the, another hopper. Like that. And then put the seeds into here. They'll get taken out. I probably could use a fast hopper actually for doing this. They'll fill this up, which you can't see. And maybe you can see it, does it? And then that'll turn into into dirt and they will compost into bone meal. So all you have to do then is feed that with the seeds, the excess seeds that we've got. And they've actually got plenty of excess seeds this year. I may have already guessed that I don't need that. So let's just take out some of this. So five stacks at a time will do. If we've got a chest on top, we can do a chest full. It's night time, I see. I see you. Like that, that'll just work away and will produce some bone meal for us, no big deal. I mean, we may need to cover that for episodes as it happens, so I just haven't got around to that, doing that one bit of and pieces. So now it's time to go to the village, but it's night time, so I'll see you in, the, in a bit in the morning when it's ready to go. Uh, almost ready to go, but I forgot I wanted to do some one more thing before we go. What I would like to do is to there's backpacks in here um i think it's cool i can't remember what his name is actually be probably called backpack or something like that here we go yes useful backpacks and it has a large backpack it has an ender chest backpack and it has medium and small so let's make the large backpack i think all you need for this is wool leather and that's probably about it maybe the first one you need some string so you need to make a medium one a small one so I just want one piece of string and then we'll need 
So I've got 12 pieces of leather, I think. One piece of string, not a big deal of shortage of that at the moment. So let's do that one. And then let's do the medium one. All the same recipe as you can see. And then let's do the large one. Now I think this is going to be a, like a golden chest. Let's have a look. Oh no, that's the equivalent to a diamond chest. So that's going to give us lots of space to store stuff. The other thing I wanted to make uh, was the ender one they've got this ender chest backpack as well this is a, a backpack i guess we can put this another thing so we need two leather string and two ender chests uh, i've actually made some ender chests ready for this i made two we had one i got another one from the um end city that i visited i thought that'll do so this should allow us to put if we open it up here See if it actually works out here. If I open this one, nope, try again. Let's put something in this. Now, is that in here? Yes, it is. So they are linked together. Unfortunately, you can't automate this. That would be really nice. But there is a clicker. Now, I don't know. Now, the clicker might not work for that, but we might make an, a clicker too. There's, there's another one, a mod with just one thing in it. It's called clicker. this one the auto clicker from some click machine and it's just this one thing now this is actually surprisingly difficult because it requires diorite and diorite i have actually not found any diorite in mine except for one block this one block here and that came from fishing and it came from a a chest in the fishing so uh, and one of those treasure things in the fishing so let's make this now we can make diorite by using cobblestone and nether quartz but the one i'm going to use is this one here nether quartz and stone essence and that'll make 16 we only need we can make two clickers with that so let's go and get those bits and pieces they are here so we need one of those plus four i think so we'll look just double check the recipe. I don't want to mess that up. Yes, four. So that, that, that'll make uh, 16 diorite. We can actually do that over here. If that just happens, because I've got a chest down actually for different purposes. But that'll make 16. So that we can then make the, the clicker. Now, there is another trick here. And I've sort of not done it. In this pack, there are also, um, what's it called? Bonsai hoppers. Let's have a look at bonsai hoppers. So the the one item in a bonsai it's a bonsai pot and a hopping bonsai pot. Obviously we're going to use the hopping bonsai pot, which requires a bonsai pot. So basically that's just five clay and one. I'm going to need one of these and five clay. I can put away the leather. I don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that and that. We don't need those and five clay or five bricks and what we're going to do is we're going to plant a chorus fruit and I think that the bonsai the hopping bonsai is just that so we put it on a chest like this uh, and then we put a piece of end stone in it so we want a piece of end so we got a reasonable amount of end stone in there I've been using a lot of, I was using a lot of endstone for making path and then we needed one chorus fruit. Now chorus fruit may be where would I put chorus fruit? I know I've got some around. Maybe it's some flowers. No, I can't find it. But it's not far away, I know that, because I have definitely got some. There we are, 58. I didn't see it first time, did I? Okay, so all you have to do is to put this down somewhere. We'll do it, actually we'll do it over here but next to this one. Let's remove this. Let's put down a chest here. Let's put on top of the chest the hopping bonsai pot. And let's put into that some end stone. And then on top of that we put a chorus root. Try again, just right click it like that. And then it grows this stuff. Quite nice. And over time that will produce um, chorus flowers 
ender pearls and um, what was the other thing it produces? The other thing we actually need to make this uh, clicker, auto clicker. Let's have a look at that. Forgotten it again. Chorus flower. So we obviously got pop, pop chorus fruit. Now, I don't think I've got any chorus flowers. If I would have, they would be in here. So I've got this popped chorus fruit. Well, I can use. Um, let's take that out of there and this one for that matter. I don't need those in there. I can do that from Britannia. Now, I'm not. Got, I haven't done any Britannia so far in this pack. So maybe we won't do that just that, that way. So maybe we just have to wait. Because if I go back here and have a long one and have a look at the uses of chorus fruit. You can have you see you've got this bonsai trees here. So it will produce these three things when it's got that. So what it's saying is you put endstone on there and then you'll get a chance of one percent chance of getting ender pearls, ten percent chance of getting chorus flowers, and twenty percent chance of getting chorus fruit. So what else does it say? Bonsai trees. Okay, so here are the different trees that you can actually that you can actually grow in here, which is which are actually fairly interesting. What have we got here? Palm sapling. So which mods that from biomes of plenty? So we can do all of this. Now let's have a look, see if we can find the one that produces ethereal saplings, interesting ones. There's quite a few different trees in here. The one that produces golden apples, because that would also be quite neat. No, there isn't one that we don't have the one that can do golden apples in here. So that's a shame. But you've got all these different trees you can do. Um, what's this one here? Willow saplings, oak saplings. I might do another one for oak. Because I, I want to set up a tree farm, but I don't want to set up an oak tree farm using um, turtles. So let's have a look at doing that with an oak one while we're here and get it to the fact. So we just need five of those plus a hopper. And of course we'll need a chest as well, so let's just the chest I've got in reasonable good supply. So let's just get out of here a tree where they've gone through here. I will be able to remember where I've put things, I promise. <laughs> I just want one sapling. Actually, I've got three, haven't I? Like that. So let's just plant an oak tree just beside the other one. It's no big deal. We've got plenty of space here to do that. So we just need another chest. And the chest I'm keeping in here, I should have about yeah, 47 plenty. It'll we'll move that out of the way and put in one of these down here like that. And they wanted one, but I've got two. Ah, interesting. They join up. Let's just break that off. I don't want them to join up. Let's press shift and do it. Like that. And let's put the let's put this one back again. Uh, that didn't work, did it? Did I just put it back in there? Um, and let's put the tree. Oh, we need some dirt. We've got dirt. That's good. Yes. And we need the hopping bonsai pot. Let's do it in the right order. So dirt and the tree sapling. And that'll grow up. Now what have we got? Yes, we've got the quartz root flower that we need. So let's go and make one of these things. But actually, let's make two. Because they're actually not too too difficult. I've actually got another one already straight away. That's good. So, auto clicker. All I'm missing is a block of redstone. No shortage of redstone. I was going to make two, wasn't I? Let's do two. And there we have those. We'll have a look at those in a minute. So now the next task is to go over to the village. It's midday. Have I got a clock with me? I need to make sure I've got a clock with me. I've got this which I don't need. This is the efficiency meter. 
uh, which you can use to test on these things. When I last tested it said 10% and I don't know what it means and what you have to do to make it better. But this one's, I'll try again, click on the bottom. It's pretty full, it's doing pretty well, it's producing gold, iron, all sorts of essential bits and pieces. And this one's also, it runs out of um, worms fairly quickly. I might have to find a way to automate that. So we've got everything I need, I think, now. So I could double check what I've got. I don't need these too deep to write. We'll put those in there. We don't need the extra dirt. We'll put that in there. Shield, fishing rod. Probably don't need the fishing rod, but I'm only going to put it into here anyway. I'll leave it in there. I've got nine buckets. I would like to make a tenth bucket. Because I've used one up for different purposes. And I think that's possibly all I need. I'll put this into the right bag now, because that belongs into here. And I wanted a clock, didn't I? I think I've got a clock in here. No. I've got a clock somewhere. Here we go, some clocks. I also wanted to make a nature's compass at some stage as, as well, and I haven't done that. So while I'm while we're here, let's have a look at the uses of this. So we, with four uh, saplings and four, we'll make a nature's compass. Now this is actually pretty useful. So what we'll do with that, we've got four saplings down at the bottom, of course. Let's have a look where I've got most saplings off. Birch and four logs or planks. I think it's stripped, actually it's stripped, isn't it? So let's take four of those. So let's go back to the use of this and we can click that into place. Now what you do with this is let's say for example we want to find some jungle. You can select, you can go down here you can see where the different biomes are and it tells you about the biomes. So for example if I want to go to jungle can I search Start and I have to select search. Oh, yes, here we go. Search bar jungle, for example. And then you start search, select my start search. There must be, is it not working these days? Or is it in a bad place? Sort by rainfall, but oh, that must be for those. So why is my search not working? Does that mean it's not finding any? Or does it have to be spelt with a capital J? Oh, that's not very good. Let's have a carry on. Yeah, it says jungle here, look. So now it should point to a jungle. And does it tell me where it is? I thought it did actually, let's right click that. I double click to try that again. I think there's a jungle about 2,000 blocks away. Start search. Ah, yes, there you go. That's it. You have to click that and start search. The so distance is 3,200 blocks away. And the, and the compass will point at the jungle. So at the moment, if you look at the compass, it's pointing this way. So that's the... Um, I think that's the nearest one. Let me just double check that again. It's a bit of a nuisance you can't filter this list a bit better than the way I'm doing it at the moment. To click the jungle here, start the search, sort by name, sort by source, okay, base height, height variation, temperature, to rainfall, top block. Sort by filler block, no? Name, okay, jungle. Click that one, start the search. Okay, I don't think it's found the, the same one. Probably has. Anyway, that's what you do with this. So makes P line on the ground there. Pick that up. Now I'm going to go to the village now. It's probably night time. So I'll see you when I'm at the village. Well, I'm just on my way to have a sleep. And look at this. The one I wanted, I found now. One melon seed. 
But I found some melon seeds in dungeon chests anyway. It's also doing enchanted golden apples. And they do have a use in this pack as well. So we'll do that another time. I don't think I want that now. Anyway, see you in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock down this um, volcano here. Let's get out if I don't need that. But there's no point in leaving the boat there because things will jump, jump into the boat. So let's remove the, Let's pick the boat up. So now, the way I'm going to do this, I'll jump over here. Oh, he's got into himself into a mess down there, hasn't he? I think I actually made it so he could get out, but maybe he can't. doesn't matter. And all the villagers are stuck in there. Great place. <laughs> they can't get out. And now they can. I'm going to be careful I don't hit them. Um, obviously my inventory is full since I was going past and I picked up some bits and pieces. But we have this nice big bag now. So let's just put everything into this bag that we don't need at the moment. So we don't need any eggs, probably put these away. Those seeds, probably not going to use this compass for the time being. Maybe the rest of it will use. <laughs> so all these villagers will lose their jobs if they do it that way. What's this guy? He's still a good farmer. No, he's just a novice farmer. I thought I got these guys working reasonably well, but maybe that was just my test world. <laughs> I don't remember. There's a farm here, you see. Anyway, this nice big thing here is just what we're going to knock down. So what I'm going to use is a turtle for doing this. So we need to get up to the top of it, because I'm going to start from the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across and take the lava out of it. This is why I've got the pump. So I'll see you in a second when I reach the top. So here we are at the top. So let's just break this block here. I've actually got silk touch pick on this, and you'll see there's lava underneath this. So what I've been doing, and this is, oh, I probably should have knocked that one away. Yes, I do. I need to lock it away because I want to put the tank here. Now I'm not 100% sure this is going to work, but what we can do is we can put the silent mechanisms pump on this. So what I was doing in the past is I was just taking buckets, drilling down a bit, taking some more buckets out of here. So I wanted to get the tank from a silence mechanism switch pump sorry this one let's put that down there like this it won't do anything till it's got power so let's give it some power like that so now it's going to start getting power and it should start pumping up lava i'm not sure how many levels it goes down to pump up lava so it's gone down two levels does it go more than that? Three. It goes up to four levels. Great. At least four levels. So let's now take the tank. So this one here. Now what I don't know whether or not, because this can pull from the side here like this, or whether this is the tank from flat GUI open manual. No, it's not working. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I have to use a bucket to pull it out of here. That's the bucket to get the bucket in this one, of course. I'll swap them over for some reason. Let's just take a bucket and then we can pull it out of here by right clicking. Oh no, we can put it in here, okay. So we take it out like that and then we'll put it into this tank. Now we will check when we put it into this tank, yes, it works. Let's just break the tank. It doesn't tell you how much you've got it. I think do we have to use a tank on it to actually check us? To check what level it's got on shift right click it no i think if i right click it it'll take the lava out again <laughs> so not what i want to try with an empty hand no it doesn't tell me so the other tank we've got was the really simple tanks now did that bring that with me or not that's the question no well, i've got the turtles there ready because I'm going to power the turtles with lava, obviously. Buckets of lava. I didn't do it. I didn't bring it with me. Never mind. Um, it doesn't matter. What I was thinking about doing is using the auto clickers. 
and pipe the stuff the items out and push them into the other we'll do that a different day i think so for now let's just get as much of this out as we can fill up this tank i can actually so we've got two buckets of in there let's just break the tank because one of the important things is that you can actually break the tank and put it down again and make sure you've still got lava in it so let's put the tank back down again now and check that we've still got lava in here so we should be able to click it with a bucket and take out a bucket of lava indeed we can so that means it holds it holds the lava this one doesn't so now we're going to go and basically we're going to excavate this area out of here like that so i'll break this down here like that ideally this isn't in the perfect place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go out a little distance and then start a turtle to do some excavation so we don't need to go out very far because it's a very it's a ve this particular thing's very tall so we'll go out about oh, so sort of five blocks or something like that i'm looking for some building blocks i think i did bring some with me or maybe i didn't i meant to <laughs> but i didn't do it we've got some wood here that will do fine let's go out here and I want to go down one. Oh, oh that's not so good they've got some an invasion going on here or could potentially have an invasion if I decide to kill the banner man which I'm not going to do so all right let's go down here three four blocks okay that I think that's a good place to put the to put the turtle and we'll put a, a, on top of this one here a chest so let's get that done in fact let's put down the turtle first of all and maybe that's why they're in the th maybe that's why they're in the thingy um, in the well so where's the turtle in the back isn't it no oh, don't click us around let's get rid of those we don't need those for the time being this will do fine so i put this down here like this and then we need to excavate an area i'm not and we need to do what let's say we're going to do I think we need to be on top left hand corner I think as well that's pretty important look at those guys huh. so let's just do that I'm going to be a bit careful doing this aren't I with, the, with those with the villagers sitting there like that I'm not happy about that I will be honest with you I'll do this bit on camera and then I'm going to just let it run and I'm going to do the rest of it I have to move the, this base or this this building area when it gets down to a level where you can actually um oh, I should have got my lighter with me shouldn't I let's put it down here so this is where I want the, the turtle to start digging so when it's dug a certain amount down I'm going to have to go down but it's going to be quite a few blocks down before that actually happens I'm going to have to move the tank as well so let's get this minor two into position here like that and it needs a chest behind it to do the excavation so we've got plenty of chests that are in here I think one chest will be sufficient let's just put down one behind it like this and minor two probably hasn't got any lava in it let's just check the fuel level um does it get fuel level or is it just fuel no I'll tell you what we'll do We'll take some lava out of the tank the tank is here beside me let's put the tank down here let's take a bucket of lava out oh let's just right click that with a bucket we got and we i know we got two in here let's put two buckets of lava in. let's get the other another bucket out of here what time of day is it it's midnight time this is not very good Sorry, I didn't notice the time. So otherwise the villagers might get attacked by zombies and the rest of it because I'm too near. So a quick sleep. Might not do. I might be out of range. So there we are. Hopefully they've been sensible and gone back to their little homes. Right, so now we need a second bucket. Let's get that out of here like that. And let's put that into here. And then type refuel all. That will empty out those two buckets. All right, so we've got plenty. It tells me what level I've got now. Um, fuel level. So now let's excavate an area of 
16 by 16 I think is what we want to do no 8 by 8 I think that oh diameter um, diameter 8 so it's going to go out here 8 blocks and going to come back here shouldn't do this one because that's too far away but you will do the path and it will do the top of the mountain but it shouldn't do the pump so what I'm going to do is let it go past here that one I'm doing this one will break this see like this one. we'll just do this break this one here and you'll see that down here there's quite a lot way down it's gone the lava's gone so let's get those two buckets into operation again oops it's just knocked me off there <laughs> <laughs> right that wasn't so smart let's i've got to get back up again <laughs> right i'll see you in a while when i'm back up again well as you can see i got back up again and now it's done below me so it's fine so let's just take this stuff out of here again push those two into that like that in fact it would be sensible to put all of these away somewhere so let's just put down a chest here actually i've got a chest here already haven't i so let's just put down a second chest beside oh somewhere here it doesn't matter very much i've obviously got to get down from here haven't i without getting myself killed um that's a mistake i've made a mistake with that one i should have a bucket of water with me and i haven't got it so i'm gonna have to go and get one of those so let's just put down a second chest here wrong bucket wrong bag take these out of here take one of those out put it in here like this and then we can take the rest of the lava out of here and then when I've done that I'm going to break the uh, break the tank at uh, the pump because it is going to go down quite a long way before we actually get need this it's going to go down 10 blocks uh, i hope that's going to work i'm going to have to catch this turtle up and stop it especially once it reaches the other part of this i don't know why that's gone to that never mind so let's break this away now you'll see i caught those so this is going to go down quite quickly to a reasonable level and I'm going to have to jump down here like that. You'll see it's, the lava's gone down that far. So I'm going to have to get myself down here and come back up again with a tank. So I'll, I'll see you in a while. Oh, I've forgotten about these guys. <laughs> so I need to go, I've used all my buckets up in lava and I've forgotten I've done that. So um, <clears throat> they might see me if I'm Yes, they're going to start attacking. Oh, let's have a press shift and I'll hold it up like this. Hopefully they'll shoot the... Let's get the banner man into gear so we can kill the others. I mean, behind them, like that. Yes, good. Keep going round. Keep going round. Should be getting shot again. Good, now we can shoot the other guys. <laughs> Oops, missed. Oh, of course I missed. Right. Phew. <laughs> I dropped my bow. We'll pick it up again. Right, I'll I'm back up. I've got to go back to base and get some a bucket. I'll see you in a short while. So all have happened now, of course, is that I was out of range, so the turtle was stopped excavating, which is actually good because I don't want it to excavate anymore. But what I do want to do is now to is to assemble up here. I would like to get it to excavate from a height higher than this, but I would like to bring it down because once you've got rid of the peak, because the peak takes forever, I'm going to build a little tower up here. And then I'm going to put onto that ladders, and we'll go up the ladders. Uh, fairly straightforward. I've got, um, got a chest in here somewhere. I think it's in the big backpack now, the large backpack. I should really call it a diamond backpack because it's pretty awesome actually <laughs> compared to these sleeping, the white canvas bags. Uh, these are quite small in comparison to this big one. 
I like this one, I've got to say. It's one slot and it takes up about four bags of the other ones, pretty good. So let's make some um, ladders, I think. I'll make seven pieces of wood, because the ladder's seven, isn't it? That'll make 30, so make that, so that's, we should then get 60. Have we got that right? Not quite. Ah, doesn't work. Ladders, I think ladders have a different, have a different recipe these days. I think they've got blocks in the middle. We need 10, 10 blocks, don't we? 12 loop. So if I'm not mistaken, it's like this. That'll give four ladders each. 14 ladders will probably be enough to get up to the top there. So let's get to unput these ladders on the hill like this. And then we can press shift, of course, and you can put block down, ladder, and carry on. I'll see you when I'm up there. Well, I'm back up. <laughs> so let's have a quick look down this hole, how far we got to go. It's actually not that far. So, of course, this has stopped, as I said it would do. And I've emptied it out so we can get pick it up. Uh, and here I've got some wooden blocks, which I can basically just go down like this now. Yes, I can break this top one off now. And then we can get up and put the stuff back over here. As you'll see, I'm fairly high up. And I did actually forget to fill up my bucket of water. But one thing you should do when you've got ladders is to come across the top here and place a block on the front of this ladder. You can see it highlighted like that. So when you want to go down ladders, you just walk and you don't fall off the ladder. It's a good little trick. Now it's coming up to, yes, it's coming up to night time again. So I'm just going to clean this area up a bit, set up the pump again and pump out as much of the lava as I can until it fills up that tank. Um, maybe I should actually do some, put the other tank down as well. So I'll just break this away. Now I'm not sure if I'm getting cobblestone because this is a silk touch one. That's all we got here. Cobble, yes, I'm getting cobble, aren't we? Best help cobble. And have a quick sleep. And I'll see you in a while when it's nearly finished. Well, I've pumped up as much as I can. This is actually full. So we can break this now. Um, hopefully that's in my inventory, yes it is. And then we can just have a look down here where the hole is. Well, it's pumping out. And I'm pressing shifts because I don't want to fall down there. You can see it's gone right the way down there. And that's probably below ground level now. Um, there was actually some purple bits. You may have noticed that around that. Now that's significant. We'll have a look at that when it gets that far. I know I'm probably well over my time by now. But all I'm going to just do is carry on with this a little bit. I'm going to put behind this now. I'm going to put an ender chest. I don't know whether it's going to work. I'm certainly going to test it out whether it does work. I think I've got ender chests in here. No, I've got it in the bag. Yes, I've got an ender chest in here. The reason I'm going to put an ender chest, I hope it'll feed it automatically, because we should be able to get to the other end then. So let's now say, um, see, I filled it up with lava, so we've got 20,000 in there. So now what we want to do is we want to do an excavate. I think it's 24. Let's uh, say 24. And it's going to carry on down, it's going to excavate all this area out here like this in fact it actually did the block that it was standing on that's interesting maybe I'm one block f too high I think it's probably excavate that to the tower down it doesn't matter that much because if I go over here before he starts over this I actually put down a bucket of water and we can get down through this bucket of water. We can get down and up here fairly easily. Almost jumping through a way through here without any danger at all. And we can go up that way as well, of course. So we just leave it now. And I shall see what happens when we've actually got as far as uh, mining up some of this. And if it's actually going to work. And I'm going to set up a little area here to put away the bits and pieces from the mining. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, the turtle, the turtle is still working, but I put the block of water up there and it's making a big mess. <laughs> There's fish are spawning in the water. So I'm going to jump over there and see if I can get into that water and get rid of that one water source block, because it, <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I, 
it's just here so we should be able to get it out actually well, if i can get it if i can find where i put it there we go i think that's the one yes indeed it is <laughs> right the turtle's actually spreading the water out which is interesting so now it should be there was one sort of water source block that created all of that amazing anyway i want to go back up here again if i can get up the ladder it's a bit of lag actually <clears throat> like probably the lag's been caused by the water disappearing down there <laughs> funny didn't expect that didn't do this last time when i was doing my testing I, what i did with it last time was i just basically oops <laughs> oop, uh -huh. nearly toughened a bit there but i have got some that's lag for you let's go up again <laughs> honestly i was going backwards and forwards all the time trying to get to this thing and making sure the lava was out but since i've already removed the lava i don't need to worry about that anymore do i and it's night time see you in a while when it's done some more work well we're getting towards the end of this you can see interesting now underneath here from what i remember this is reinforced sapphire glass which is weatherproof there should be i believe it is these chests i think they're trapped well there's something underneath there. there's tnt underneath there so let's see if we can actually get rid of the tnt without killing ourselves <clears throat> so i think if i'm not mistaken just come down here a bit i could be this could be a bad move <laughs> So what I want to do <clears throat> is maybe I put down some water. So I haven't got any with me. <laughs> I'll just go and get the water from up here. It's also fairly difficult to see when it's so dark. I think I put the water down here somewhere. I'm wondering whether I want to come in this way or go in from the other side. I'm not sure what the trigger is. There's something that will trigger this to explode. Let's have a look. I hope we'll do it that way. Yes, I can hear it. There it goes. And it, it did explode, <laughs> as I suspected it would do. Now, has that done any damage? What have I got here? I think I should have got the stuff from the chest. Let me just put this stuff in the bag here that I've got. I've been catching fish everywhere. So I, th I think there's also another set of TNT at the other side of this block over here. This is where the this, this is where it came in. The lava was all down here, as you can see. It goes down a long way. Uh, so let's have a quick. Mm, I'm just wondering what to do. Maybe I'll just draw it, excavate it. There it is. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't seem to take too much damage from that one. And this is what. Oh yes. And this is what you get in the chests. There's all sorts of stuff green ruins man of steel and so on and so forth this just didn't blow up either so what have we got in here an ancient tomb piercing for that's actually quite good that's a good britannia that's not too bad either um so so on that note <laughs> explosive end i am going to say goodbye for now and i will see you next time i'm going to carry on clearing away this um You've seen the interesting stuff now, those gems and all sorts. I don't know quite what triggers the explosion, because those aren't trap chests. Anyway, sorry for the long episode, but until next time, wish you all the best. Bye for now.